Oh, hey, Badminton community. It's Henry and Jeff bringing you a review on the Leaning 3D Calibre 900C. Why? Because Leaning paid us to. What? Really? No. In all of our racket reviews, we assess rackets on five main metrics with a score out of 10 for each. These are feeling and handling, control, power, speed, and aesthetics. So the C in the 3D Calibre 900 C stands for combat. It is built on the 3D Calibre technology platform, whatever that is. We couldn't find any information on it, so if you've got some info, share it down in the comments below. But basically, it features a high-tech geometric racket frame shape. Design generates more speed, more power, and less resistance. It is also head heavy with a high balance point and is marketed as suitable for very strong aggressive players looking for maximum power. It weighs in at 86 grams and we tested with it with BJ66 66 Ultimax at 29 pounds. So what do we think about it? Although on the heavier side, the 900C feels nice through the air and is relatively swift. It has a medium feel when contacting the shuttle, it doesn't vibrate too much either. And shuttle placement is also decent and you don't feel the rack carry with the momentum of the swing as strong as other head heavy rackets, which allow for a higher degree of control. It does pack some power, okay, it's pretty hard to hold back that power as it's one of the more powerful rackets that we've reviewed so far. Look, as per its swift maneuverability, we found that it can keep up with fast play but still lags slightly compared to even balanced or head light rackets, generally speaking. It's not bad for a head heavy racket. Yeah. yeah. Lastly, it's dark toned grey and green colour combination. Looks a little bit dull from our perspective to be honest. But hey, maybe that's what floats your boat. So, for feeling and handling, we gave it an 8 out of 10. For control, we rated it an 8 as well. A 9 out of 10 for power. 7 out of 10 for speed, not too bad for a head heavy one. Yeah, and for how it looks, a 6.5 out of 10. So this gives us a total of 38.5 out of 50. So who's it for? Now, we think it's for a backcourt doubles player or recourt doubles player as it's really designed for a heavily offensive player with a preference towards smashing repeatedly but it's certainly able to keep up with the fast exchanges in doubles too. Uh, I probably wouldn't sell it too short for singles either. It'd be very suitable for an advanced singles player with that head heaviness as well. Uh, but it's certainly not for front court doubles players or those with a preference for defending. Despite its stiff nature, it is rather forgiving. However, in combination with its heavy head, I would still suggest giving this one a pass for those new to the sport or the less technically skilled, as it would be difficult to get used to. Yeah, I can see that. The, bit, the heaviness, yeah, harder to change grips and change direction, etc. Yeah. But if you have fire in your eyes, way too much anger, and love to see the shuttle slam onto the ground, and your racket just just unleashing these massive jump smashes, but you also want to keep up with some fast exchanges, then this one could be around a good one for you. Yeah. <laughs> but around $250 AUD, would we try, buy, or deny? Well, we think we try. If you're a little more graceful, have a bit of a lower budget, and you want to feel like you're waving a wand around instead of like a heavy axe, you do need to check out this bad boy, the Volant Road S1, our sleek matte black racket for all day use for an all-rounder basically. Exactly right. So there you have it, the Leaning 3D Calibre 900C. Thanks for tuning into this video. If you've enjoyed it or found it useful, be sure to button like that smash for the algorithm and share it with your badminton community. Also, make sure you stay up to date with all of our racket releases by subscribing to our channel, turning on notifications so that you do not miss out. Bye. Bye. By golly gosh, it does pack some power.